Colin Ridgeyard is an accomplished academic and a novelist. In fact, he divides his time between writing novels and children's stories and working across various academic fields, including randomized clinical trials, database design, data mapping, methodological development, and infection control. His research has resulted in several journal publication contributions and conference talks in the fields of pediatric intensive care and type 1 diabetes. In 2021, he publishes, in collaboration with Eurobox, the Clutterbutt and Flumkin Appreciation Society. And we're honored to have him here, connected with us today on Conoscere TV. Hi, Colin. It's great to see you. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Oh, you are most welcome, and it's great to see you as well. Hello. Hello. What is the Clutterbutt and Flumkin Appreciation Society about? Well, there are a number of themes in the Clutterbutt and Flumpkin Appreciation Society, and the main one, I think, is a celebration of childhood and the trials of ad adolescence. Guy, the uh, main character, is not your everyday hero. He is rich and he is spoilt, but he's also very loyal to his friends and will go to the ends of the earth for them. He does not judge his friends whether they are rich or poor, but rather he chooses his friends on their loyalty and their shared interests. Another theme, I think, is uh, magic. However, the magic itself is also a metaphor for technology. With powerful abilities and new technologies, there comes a lot of responsibility. And uh, magic is something new in Guy's world, and it must be used carefully, as it can easily get out of control. And in some ways, it mirrors the old classical tale of the Sorcerer's Apprentice. A third theme, I think, would be to be wary of totalitarianism. Guy lives in a world that seeks to quash stories about elves, fairies and witches and to suppress childhood imaginations. I think it's very important for children to be brought up in a world where they are taught, what to, uh, taught how to think rather than what to think. OK. So, and yes, those are the main themes. Great, thank you. And what inspired you to write it? I'm curious. Well, that's uh, very much an oral tradition, I would say. Uh, Friday nights and Saturday nights, my children used to have their friends over for sleepovers. And uh, we'd sit around watching movies, and then when the movies were over, we'd sit around and tell stories, just like my grandmother had done with uh, me and my friends when we were younger. So the stories that we used to tell, um, very much like I say, the oral tradition, this is where Clutterbutt and uh, Flumpkin originally stemmed from. OK. Is there a character in the book um, with which you identify yourself? I think I definitely identify with Guy, the main protagonist. Um, and you can see, I think um, a lot of that is to do with the first person point of view that you see in the story. So I very much try to see the world through Guy's eyes. Um, he is, like I say, he is the main character. And I see his voyage of discovery of magic, not too dissimilar to my own uh, voyage as a teenager when I started to discover the world of science and technology. And again, like I said earlier, that central theme of when you're dealing with technology, just as you're dealing with magic, it's very important to treat especially new technologies very carefully. Okay. Who would you address the reading of your book to? Who would you suggest the reading of your book to? I think it's uh, mainly aimed at the young adult and teenage market, but uh, I've had uh, a couple of youngsters uh, aged 10 and 11 say that they really enjoyed reading it as well. And uh, I've even had a gentleman of uh, 70 saying that it really, he really enjoyed reading the book. So I would say it's probably got um, a universal appeal in that respect. <laughs> as a last question, I would like to ask you if there's anything you want to tell your readers uh, now that you have the chance to. Well, there is a sequel currently being written. Um, so the Clutterbutt and Flumpkin 2 is currently in the pipeline. So if you enjoyed the first book, soon there'll be a second book. Great. Thank you very much, Colin, for being here and for the answers to our questions. We wish you and very thank good you so luck. Much. <laughs> And thank you so much for taking the time to talk.
The Clutterbutt and Flumkin Appreciation Society is an adventure, fantasy, and young adult novel that tells the story of Guy, a spoiled rich kid whose father has tried unsuccessfully to send to Tremorwick Towers. He instead attends Eleven Hills High with his friends Emma, Diana, and Will. And while he keeps out of trouble and gets good grades, his father is happy. But strange, supernatural things lurk behind every corner. Are magic, witches, fairies, and spells real? Come and join Guy on his journey and the side of magic is truly real. Colin Ridyard's new book is now available in bookstores and digital platforms. It's a publication by Eurobox.